Oh yes, skull coffee guys. Dead to decaf. Mm. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a quick kind of a home studio slash man cave slash uh, uh, office tour. Yeah, I wanted to do this for a long time. I've seen many people doing it and uh, I wasn't sure if I want to share my room with everyone, but I realized it's a small room. It's three by three and a half meters. It's basically here behind me. This is the my conservatory, which was conservatory, but I decided to kind of isolate it from inside, pull the cladding and build it as my working space at home. And now I'm isolating from outside. So basically I'm turning it out to a proper room. So come in, let me show you what's happening in this room. Give you a quick rundown and hopefully some of you can get some ideas and maybe if you have a small room, you can turn it to your YouTube studio, office, man cave, whatever you decide. So let's get in. Okay, I guess first I'm gonna start from here. So this is the bar. Yes, I have bar at the studio. This is when it's happening, everything to my other channel, which it's all about cocktails. Uh, I work as a bartender mixologist for many years and uh, 2018, in the end of 2018, I start Instagram called Just Shake or Steer, which have over 20,000 followers now. And during this time, I start working uh, with brands, uh, delivering photography, videos, creating cocktails, and obviously slowly building up. I start with few bottles now, it's over 200 something. I've never, I didn't count them to be honest, but yeah, this is when everything happening for my Just Shake or Steer YouTube channel when I share cocktails and obviously I do pictures on the bar, I create a recipe and I use all these props uh, for this recording. If you're wondering what's happening here, this is my track key from Tentacles. I did review a few videos ago, so if you missed it, maybe go and check it out because that's what I'm recording now. It's yeah, here in my pocket. I can go in my kitchen, I can go outside. Seriously, I can go pick up the kids from school and you can still watch the bar when I talk to you. Fantastic thing. But anyway, if you missed this uh, review, make sure you go and check it. So yeah, guys, this is the bar. Let me just go behind. It's basically built from uh, whatever materials I have. Uh, nothing is spent too much like money wise. Everything is from few things I have to buy, obviously, but this is like a clearance, laminate flooring, the top, some old uh, shelves here I got from uh, offices when they was throwing them away. This is kind of a piece of wood which, again, get from here and then. I have a cupboard for the glasses. Again, bought it from Facebook, uh, from somebody selling it for next to nothing. And if I turn on this side, you can see this was my window watching outdoor, obviously to the conservatory, I decide to close it and I put some apple crates and uh, lovely for the bottles. But yeah, this is where everything happened for my uh, other channel and for my cocktail photography and working with brands and creating recipes and everything. Uh, I'm gonna share many videos with you, walking you through and breaking down my cocktail photography. And also uh, saying this, I just released class on Skillshare cocktail and drinks photography without expensive lights and studio. Yes, the whole class is filmed here. So if you're interested, I'm gonna leave link in the description. You can go to Skillshare to this link and you can get 14 days premium for free. Watch the class. It's not sponsored by Skillshare. I'm just promoting my class, okay? Yes, Mercury, please stop. The doc doesn't agree something with me. I don't know why. Anyway, let's move to the other part. Okay, guys, this is my light. I have uh, newer panels, which I'm using for photography and video. One, it's uh, permanently on the wall there. As you can see, this is one permanently on the wall. It's not on now, but this is kind of a filling up the room. 
And this is my other light which I'm using. This is the Godox SL60W continuous LED light uh, with a remote control. So if I switch it on, switch it off, I can control obviously the dim up and down. And I'm using a uh, lantern softbox. Uh, I like this lantern softbox because as you can see when I turn out, it's a 360 degree. It's lighting up the whole room, so it's very easy for me to film videos for the cocktail channel and videos for this channel when I'm on the desk or I do something else. All right, so uh, as you can see, it's a small room, so things have to be moved uh, around. But uh, basically what's happening, it's I have set up always a stand. Uh, I film my videos for the other channel on my iPhone. It's a cocktail channel, it doesn't require any camera. The iPhone is fantastic, 4K, filming perfect. I've already have presets, color grading, everything ready for that. So it's basically on a normal, like a lighting stand. And there you go, let me just show you. This is my setup. I'm using uh, my iPhone holder from the Ronin uh, gimbal, because I don't use it with a gimbal. So it's here on the top, so I just put my phone Plug, plug my Rode video micro to the phone and that's how I record. It's always set up there and now I just bought today a stand which is going to be attached to the, to the desk, to my desk and it's going to stay permanently there with a bulkhead on the top so I can swap camera or a phone and I can record this way the bar or record this way my desk when I do obviously videos for the different channels and this stand is going to go away so nothing's going to be on the floor. Uh, this area here behind, this is where it's uh, for my still photography. If I don't do lifestyle photography on the bar or do like uh, action photography, pouring drinks and stuff like that, this is where everything happened. It's uh, attached to the wall with the clips backdrop holder. So I have vinyl backdrops there down on the wall and I can change the colors behind. And this is again two pieces of laminates just I can put one of them like that, stick my base for the cocktail, for example, and then just have a clip on the side so it doesn't move. And this is where I can obviously put my cocktail and make my pictures for my website and uh, like for thumbnails, for social media, for the Instagram, because I have this kind of a moody style, dark and the same pictures going on my website with the recipes and everything. But this is when it happens. So when I film video, I take pictures on the bar for a thumbnail if I want. And then I take picture here straight away because I can have it for my website because it's two different styles. But this is how it is. It's continuous slice, this ESDDI. Again, I had a review on this. So check my channel. I have a video on a budget lighting. If you are interested in buying some lighting, but you don't have too much money to buy or do you want to spend too much this is fantastic solution it's a continuous led light they come in in pair of two with the stands with everything in the box my second one it's put away because i don't use it at the moment they're extremely cheap extremely versatile the only things with them it's they're not dimmable so you need to play with your camera settings if you want to you know adjust the exposure and everything they're just continuous one flat level okay so that's one and the other one it's I have another LED panel here newer if I want to put some lights on the side I can just use this one and there you go I have light on the side it's with the barn doors so I maybe want to do some like a moody photography just to introduce the cocktail or something which I shoot maybe a product from one side if I want to fill it up from the top so I have kind of all options and everything it's attached to the wall so the newer panel, it's staying on the old uh, TV stand uh, arm, TV arm, which I had before from a small TV. So when, when the TV went away, I keep the arm because you never know. So now it's attached there. If I don't use it, I just put a flat on the wall like everything else. This is going flat so I can walk here. And this one is attached to the beam on the top. The good thing is I can just turn it wherever I want if I want to move it somewhere or I can turn the lights this way if I want to do it filming the bar for example 
or just uh, keep it like it is. So it's a very versatile for me. It's a small room and this one it's always here to help if I need some extra light apart from the obviously the Lantern, lantern softbox. And final thing it's my desk and this is where I'm gonna change now the camera. I'm gonna make video about these wonderful things. Seriously, it's the Lanzi quick release. I have on each one of my uh, tripods, one of those and I have on my gimbal, the Ronin gimbal as well, because it's the same base and all my cameras have uh, the same plate underneath. So if I want to change, for example, on M50, I can just plug it here and I have it. But now if I want to swap, I just take this out and I'm going to put my Canon RP to show you the desk. Fantastic little thing. I'm going to make video about it because if you, if you want, uh, quick release and you want to swap between cameras and stands and gimbals that is gonna save your life so let me change it a quick click boom and I'm done and there you go guys this is my desk I will make a special video only on the desk setup let's just put that light so I'm gonna put this light now there you go, you can see it behind. Uh, I have uh, obviously stand for two monitors. Hopefully it's gonna come second one. On this side it's my laptop. This is DIY build desk. Uh, I built it for less than like uh, $60. And I'm gonna make video exactly on this because I wanna show you how you can build your own desk without spending too much money and have the space to work. It's a fantastic two meter long desk, 40 centimeter wide all the cable management, all the shelves, everything I'm gonna show you, everything is built DIY, okay? I have uh, these LED lights on the top for nighttime when I work and also on the bottom I have a switch which is gonna turn my purple light there. This purple light is fantastic because I have different tubes with different colors so I can just swap them to blue, to yellow, whatever, but I like the purple, it's quite nice. And this is it guys, this is pretty much, this is my little office, three by three and a half meters. That's all it is, that's all you get. And all the work which I do on Instagram, make sure you check Just Shake or Steer. I'm gonna leave a link in the description because it's different Instagram than this one. But all the work, there's a helicopter passing. The hospital is next to us, so we have quite traffic sometime. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in cocktails or cocktail photography. Stick around, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna walk you through different scenarios. We're gonna make uh, some beverage photography bottles, free pouring, uh, action shots, how to pour, how to arrange, so many things coming. And uh, pretty much everything's gonna happen from here. And of course, when I build my studio, YouTube studio in the photo studio, I'm going to swap things around, but this is always going to be my HQ. So that's what it is. I forgot to mention there's a shelf on the top, which is kind of a drive me crazy because it's white, but I think I'm going to get some of the black self adhesive uh, like a foil, foil, what is it, vinyl? That's what I did with the desk. So I'm going to make it black and change these brackets to black. The only downside of the black, it's collecting too much dust, so I have to clean every day, but I like black, it's nice and dark. Especially when I do photography here, I don't want nothing to reflect in the glass because I work with lots of glass. And this shelf pretty much holds all my stuff, which I don't use much. Everything else, it's, uh, everything else what I use every day, it's organized in baskets under the desk, because as I mentioned, the desk is two meters long, so I don't use the whole space. So everything is there, which I use on daily basis. Everything else, which I use just some time, it's on the top. But yeah, this is it, guys. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this kind of a quick uh, rundown. If you have any questions, uh, uh, I don't know, regarding the bar or regarding the desk or anything, just fire up. As I mentioned, I'm going to make a video about the desk, about my setup, how you can build it and every single part, which it's on top of it, like speakers, monitors, uh, phone chargers and everything and uh, of course I'm gonna start doing some videos about my cocktail photography and share uh, some knowledge with you so you can start practicing at home make some cocktails 
get some fun and of course uh, learn a few bits and bats uh, how can you make a wonderful photography from home so don't forget to check my skillshare class as well i'll leave link in the description as i mentioned it's all about cocktails and drinks photography without studio or expensive light setup okay and this is it guys so until the next video i'll see you very shortly with another video hopefully i'll go finish my coffee maybe make some more and yeah stay safe keep creating never give up all right see you later bye bye